Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do part two for the Twilight Garden Maria Troll <laughs> book that I am coloring in and I'm doing the Fox page here. And I'm going to be doing um, the flowers down here, the little leaves. We'll see how far in I go with the leaves and stuff, but I also want to make a kind of a green area around the fox so he's actually like curled up into a green uh, grassy area so I'm going to be putting um, some green into the regular places in here also but I want to do that with ink and I have to do all the um, flowers and the leaves in here first I've never really uh, put distress ink over the polychromos I know I can do it over the uh, Prisma colors because they have a, a lot of wax on them and the wax resists the um, distress ink. So we're going to see how we do with the polychromos this time. So I'm going to get the camera down and uh, go ahead and start on this section down here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start on the flowers and I'm only going to use two pencils. I want them blue and I'm going to use um, the Persian blue here and then the white. Okay. And what I'm going to end up doing is making it blue on the outside. This is a light hand on this and then I'll make it darker on the outside so I'm putting a little more pressure on it. Then we're going to go in with the white and just kind of soften that blue up a little bit. And then go back in and just fade that down a little bit better. So we have a white in the center. Just like that on each little flower petal. <laughs> So I'll do one flower here and then I'll do the rest of them off camera so you don't have to watch a billion little petals. So I had a question on part one. I did the um, fox in the, of course I'm doing the whole page in polychromos so I can get used to these. Because so I haven't, I had a set of, um, I think they were 30, what did they come in, 36 or something? 32. <laughs> 36. Anyway, um, and I wasn't a, well, I shouldn't say I wasn't a fan. I like the pencils. They're nice, but liked my um, Prismacolors a lot. So I went and got myself a big set of that. And then I noticed that um, in this book, it was a lot easier to use the polychromos. So I went ahead and did that. One of the people that I have following me that had kind of requested that I do a fox page um, doesn't have the polychromos. So I went ahead in the uh, answering her question. I'll put it that way. So it's down in the um, comment section. 
under one of the um, names down there. If you want to look, I did a best guess comparison to the um, Prisma colors that I would have used if I was doing the Fox in those pencils instead of the ones that I used. So if you also only have the Prisma colors or you just want to know the conversion, <laughs> it's not a, a straight up, um, you know, recommended conversion for each pencil as the counterpart. It's the closest I would come to the pencils I would have used to um, color in the fox if I was using my Prismacolors. So basically the same uh, use of the laying down of each different color. So that is how those flowers are going to look. And like I said, that I don't know how long that took me, but there are a lot of those here. So if that took me five minutes, we'd be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, an hour and 20 minutes doing flowers. So I'm not going to do that for you. I will do a little bud up here though. And I'm going to do the bud the same way. We're going to put the dark up at the top. Bring it down on one side and I'm going to leave the top side with the white. Just come in, kind of like the highlighted area up here. And then darken the bottom side up as much as you can. Boom. There we go. Now I'm going to do a um, leaf. There are like three different leaves in this picture. So we have the little leaves that go with these flowers. Then we have these, um, they kind of droop over and I'm assuming that they're the ones that go with the bleeding hearts. And then we have the long ones that go with the, and yeah, I know the name of these flowers. The big flower here <laughs> that I'll be doing. I have these in my backyard. <laughs> They'll come to me later. Anyway, so we have three different leaves and I'm going to do them three different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these little leaves down here and we're going to do those in these colors here. i get them up here for you. So the green opaque the green, earth green, yellowish, and the earth green. And I'll be doing them in this pattern. <laughs> so this is the darkest one, medium, and then the lightest. Okay, so we'll find the leaf here. I will do this one up here because it's closest to the flower. And we'll put the dark down here. kind of alternate them. I have to really darken it up here because I painted on that. And his fur really wouldn't cover it that way because it's going that way. <laughs> that down the center. Okay, then we're going to take the earth green and just blend it in next to it. And 
and then the earth green yellow on the tips. Basically kind of all over wherever it lies that I didn't color it will go right into and give it that kind of variegated look. And this is the dark one again and I'm just going to go over the dark areas. And those are the leaves. I'll do another one here. Did that wrong. <laughs> this is the darker color. Not quite used to the pencils yet. Anyway, <coughs> then we'll put the uh, lightest color in here. So there we go. We just want to make sure that we get um, kind of a light. Don't want to make these two colors that are touching the same color. So if this one is darker on one side, you want to make that one lighter on one side. And that's the only big rule on these leaves. They're kind of small. And just use the three colors. They seem to work nicely together. As long as you use them in the right pattern. <laughs> and the medium and then we'll go back in with the light. back in and darken any areas up. And basically that is the, la uh, the pattern I'm going to use on those leaves. Now this leaf up here, we're going to uh, use the same colors except for I'm going to take one out and add one in. So this is the um, earth green yellowish. It's going to go out and we're going to bring in um, may green, so it's a little brighter. So we're going to go ahead and do these um, kind of floppy leaves here. So we're going to kind of make this one the darkest because it's kind of under. Do this side the darkest. Just kind of make it a light touch going I mean, you're doing it darker or pushing it down further on that, but just bringing it lightly over into the other section. And then we'll go in with the medium color, which is the earth green. Bring that out a little further, almost to the edge, but not quite. And we're going to add in the lightest color, and that is the May Green. Go over all of it.
Okay, so there's a subtle difference between the two, but this one's brighter. And we want it bright. The leaves on my bleeding hearts are quite vibrant. Okay, then we're going to do the peonies. <laughs> The leaves down here and these on my backyard are almost um, black they're really dark green so I'm going to take out the um, green opaque and I'm going to switch it with uh, chrome oxide green and that'll make it darker and we're going to take this one back out and bring in the yellow green one and we will start this one now these kind of go upward and i want to make the center of this the darkest part of the flower or leaf pull it down in here just lightly bring it out the center part we want the darkest if you can't find the center part you can fudge uh, kind of getting the um, color just in an area that looks like it might be the center then just very lightly bleed it out a little bit Okay, then we'll bring in the second color, which is the earth green. Bring it almost all the way out to the tip. I think it comes down on this side. Okay, then we'll go in with the earth green yellowish and just kind of pull it in there very lightly. So now we have a nice variegation going on. And we're going to go back in with the darkest color. And just kind of make it a little darker in areas. And then we'll go back in with the medium color. And these are just going to take a little more layering than the smaller leaves. So you just 
just want to keep putting on layers until you've decided you like what you got. And that looks good. All the vines are going to be done with the greens and a little bit of brown. I don't have a brown pencil out right now. But basically that is what I'm going to do on all the leaves. They're done with sort of the same colors, but one pencil being removed and replaced with a different shade. So they will blend, but they will also be a little different. <laughs> And then in the background, like I said, I was going to try to put some Distress Ink, but we'll have to get to that later. The um, Bleeding Hearts, I'm going to do kind of a little different. So I'm going to bring in um, Red Violet. Magenta. And... Um, medium, I don't know if you can read that, I get my hand on it, medium flesh, okay. So we're going to go in with the darkest part, and kind of blend it out, making the center the darkest. Okay, we're going to come in with the magenta one and just bring that out a little further. And then bring in the medium flesh. back over the center part with the red violet. And that's how those will be done. The center part down here is white. I'll put some white in there, but I'll probably go over that part with a Posca pen. And I will also put in like a little highlight here. And this one won't quite do it as well as the Prisma color, but I can go over that with the Posca too. But that's how all those are going to be done. And the peonies, that one's going to be a difficult one for me. <laughs> I'm going to use the, um, the light, the medium, and then let's see. We have here. Oh, we'll start with this. So we're gonna go. Got them backwards. You can't read that. I'm sorry. Okay. The light flesh, medium flesh, and the dark flesh. Give us a pinky tone to it. So we'll start with the medium and put it right in in this area. So the underside of the petals, the petals that would be the darkest, because this is behind the two. And the darkest where she has the lines for you already. And then when you get to the center, you want to go on the inside of the petals here. Okay. 
in the very back of the tips. Okay, next color is the medium. And the light. And we're not going to go all the way to the top. We're going to leave a space up there. One of the things I have to get used to between these two pencils is the pressure I put down and how many layers I put on. <laughs> okay, we're going to get, um, I'm going to find the tray with it. Uh, the ivory. And we're going to do that around the edges here. So this one will go all the way up and pull that down. And that'll kind of give us that nice creamy look on the tips. You want to pull it all the way down into all the colors. I'll go back in. I forgot a spot here. And that's the dark. And anywhere you want it to be just a little darker, go over it again. This is the light flesh just to bring the pieces together here. I 
and I'll probably play with this for a while just to make sure I get the colors deep in the center where I want them. But basically that is um, the way I'm going to do all of those. Okay, anything else that I haven't done yet? So I've done the leaves, the flowers, each one of those. I'll show you what, um, set those down, the Posca pen will do for these little guys here. So we'll make a, a little line there. I'll probably just fill that in and we'll put one on this side too. Just like that. Kind of give it a highlight. I don't know if I'll be highlighting the um, peonies up here and I might do a little something down here in the blue ones but I will show you that later but I wanted to let you know how those were going to look. Okay so what I'll do is um, work off camera on the rest of the leaves, the rest of the flowers and then I will come back and show you what it looks like and we can try to do some of the background down here by the fox. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys we are back and the flowers are done, the leaves are done for the most part. Um, I did do these uh, branches here and this is the only color that I didn't show you. Uh, Kaput <laughs> Morkium. I'm not sure exactly how to say that so um, you can look at that. Okay I'm using it um, because in my backyard the bleeding hearts actually um, the color comes up into the stem and the stem is kind of a, a goldish brownish color and so I brought in this which kind of goes with the uh, flower. So we're bringing it up through the stem here and then just kind of bringing it down. And then I'll go in with, and this is um, green gold. And I just go over it with that. I did put the green gold also in these leaves because I wanted them to stand out a lot more from the other leaves that I had and I used it also on these little stems down here. Now I didn't even notice there was a butterfly up there <laughs> and I'm just gonna do it in um, the blue like we did the flowers down here so I will just um, kind of go around the edge of this little guy. I can, can you see that? I don't, it's not down far, but just kind of do something in that line and then to add the white in here. And give it a little shine. Then I'll go around him in black but basically that's all he's going to get on him so that brings the blue up there. So everything else that I didn't touch on the butterfly is going to be black. Okay I'm going to do some distress ink down here. This is the first time I've used the uh, distress ink over the polychromos or in this book so we're going to see how it works. I'm going to um, use the peel paint and what I want to do is just give him a really pretty um, well, it doesn't even have to be pretty. What it needs to do is ground him in the flower bed because right now he looks like he's floating. 
and I don't like a floating fox. I want him actually on some kind of grass or something. So I thought the green would work if I just kind of knocked it down a little bit. And you know me, I'd rather use the Distress Ink than the pencils. So I'm going to test that out. And that's the color we're going to use. And I'm going to use the big um, blending tool, big round one. Just lightly touch it in there. I don't know, can you see that? Then I want to double check and see what it's doing to the polychromos. Now I did, um, because I wasn't sure, see so if I'm going to get a green in there, but that's okay. I'm going to have to go over all of those flowers. Green isn't too bad. Let's see if it will wash up. It does come up a bit. So I'll just work on that. Get our green down in here. It's okay on the leaves because the leaves can stand some green. And I'm going to put some up on his back. I kind of want it to look like there's a line up here that he decided to curl up into the grass. Watch his fur. See, that's already grounding him nicely. Trying just to keep it on the dark tips of the leaves and the dark tips of the flowers. Now, since I um, extended his fluffy tail out here, I don't want to get any green on that. Although if I do, I can just go back in with a little of the Posca. I'll bring the green down a little this way too. And then the only other spot can use some up here. And then over here by his tail. And his ear. Just add a little more. I'm just darking some areas up. And then I'll just go over it with a washcloth here and see if the Distress ink will come up off the flowers. And I was saying earlier when I lost my train of thought, I did go over the um, blue flowers with the Karen Dash blender pencil because this is a wax um, base blender and I went over them just hoping that the distress ink would come up and it does so I will be happy about that you know how much I like my distress inks and it came out pretty good so that's awesome. Now he's got a little green area to snooze in, which I like. And I think I'll put a little bit of blue up through here if I'm real careful with that. I think I'll be able to, um, I gotta find a blue that's not too dark, not too bright, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is Salty Ocean, and that looks like a nice light blue. 
and I'm just going to bring it, I'm going to put it kind of up in here into the green and then bring it down lightly to the other ink areas. And we'll have a little blue up here in the sky. Area. I don't want to get too much up here by the um, pink flowers. Then we'll have purple flowers. <laughs> Not what I was going for. I'm going to add a little up here. Hope the camera's up high enough so you're getting all that. Or if I move it down far enough, you could see it. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we have a little bit of blue and a little bit of the green down here. We'll put the ink away. And let's see. thought I might add just a little bit of um, black to the fox's back because I want him a little darker here. So I'm just gonna pull in some of the black, just drawing on that line and bringing it downward just to darken him up a bit here. because now he's got all this shadow coming down from all these plants. And I'm going to darken his ears up a bit up here. So I wanted him a little darker. Okay. to see if I add a little water up here. I'll see if it wipes up. I don't know if it will. Um, if I can get a splatter effect up here. So we're going to try this out. I don't exactly know where I splattered that on. <laughs> is like a, it's the tip old splurry thing, but I think I got the nozzle all clogged up with something because it's spraying instead of splattering. There we go. And we'll also see how well the page sticks up to water. And we'll get a little down here in the green. That'll soften it up a little bit. A little more down here. There we go. I did notice that um, the black on the other side of this paper kind of shows up through um, through here. It's not going to bother me, but in case that bothers you, you could always paint the whole background. Okay, what I'm going to do off camera to finish this up is add the uh, Posca on all the red bleeding hearts. And I'm going to color him black 
and I have to put in centers to all the little blue flowers down here. I was just going to do that with, depending if I want to put some sparkle up here, I was going to do that with the stickles. <laughs> so I will post a picture at the end of the video, and yes, I will do it today. I forgot the last video. Sorry about that when it's all finished. So thank you so much you guys for watching and I was just trying to keep this one to a part two and I did. So uh, if you like these kind of videos give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to and haven't already. Thank you for everybody who is subscribed and supporting this channel and if you want to ring the bell for notifications. So guys have a great day. Thank you for watching and uh, take care. See you the next time. Bye now.